chickens. Don't chicken dance at me. Uh. Hi, it's Mel with One Woman and Two Acres. I give up. The chickens have worn me down. They don't want to be caged. They got a taste of freedom and they're done. So I've decided I have to keep the garden safe from them. But it's been raining like mad here off and on. Now it's nice and sunny out and I'm thinking, oh great. And I run outside and I do a little something, then it starts raining again and I run back inside. It's been one of those days. But I have an idea. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Remember me saying that I had a, I, I pulled out some bits of crate and stuff and I said, oh look, a fence or a gate. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can also put wire against it so we're good here. And if I can get this cat to leave me alone, I can actually get it. Come on. There it went. Ugh. There, take that arm. That's a boy. I, yes, I see. He's being very sweet. Now leave me alone. Cat, you are way too trusting. There. Now these are cut into a bit of a point, and I can stick them in the ground with my cat. Now get off. Now all I have to do is take the little sign off of it. I hope for the best. Seems this was a 22 ton log splitter. <sighs> nice. Like I said, I got the crate. But I gotta get this stupid thing off. It was very well put together. And I believe, you notice that this is coated in kind of an orangey kind of color. I believe that that is glue. And when it's hammered in, of course, it heats up. So it glues itself in. I hate that. But it was free, so I'm not complaining. Oh, it's going to be harder to get in than I thought. I found this. Oh, isn't that nice? Of course, it's on uneven ground, so it's a rocking chair. But, nice bench, isn't it? Kind of nice. And I thought I could put that over there and have some place to sit down when I'm falling down. <laughs> I think that'll work. We'll see. The first one didn't. <laughs> but I know I'm not going to keep this chair here, or the seat, in front of the junk pile. Which is the first thing you see when you come in my driveway. <laughs> so, isn't that nice? And you always know where I am. But I've got some more of the fencing over for this. And they're long enough that it just might do pretty well. I'm kind of hoping it goes across the end so I have something decent to look at. Me and no mower. <laughs> but yeah, I have a lot of pallets to go through. And still looking for more. Because I have other projects. <laughs> <laughs> so, one fencing debacle handled. Down for the count. But, another one. <laughs> Hopefully that will work out. 
And I know that the chickens, I mean, I had a little fence. I mean, it was no bigger than this. And they wouldn't go over it. They won't fly over it. They'll fly from the coop down and from down to the coop and up on my porch. But that's it. They just don't, you know, just go flying to be flying. They glide. So I think this might work. What do you think? <laughs> if I could just get it in the ground. Maybe use that fence hole post, the post hole digger, and then do that. That'll work. Let's try that. I'm doing post holes again. Oh. But these only have to go down about eight inches. Yay. It's a good thing because I found rock under that one. That was right. <laughs> that was right. Oh, thank heavens. I'm so tired. Get in there. Get everybody in. All right. Clean some of this up because it's starting to rain again. So yeah, this is going to be one of those really long projects. So, what do you think? Roop! Goes around the corner like a these. And I started my gate too. Looking from the fence and the gate, I'll have more fence over here. And all this on this side will be my perennial garden, I think, or might be inside. I've got a lot of square footage inside, so I might just do it at the back end over here. That way the chickens, once again, can't get to it. Oh, chicky. I could have moved this down a little bit, but that's okay. It works. They're picking off, <laughs> the chickens are picking off bugs that they're finding. <laughs> Please get away from my fence. So, that is going to be the end of the garden. <laughs> and I'm going to, I think I'm going to put wire up over here because I'm running out. But I want it pretty up at the house, so I have to put it in over there. It's not raining right now, so I may as well get going on it. <laughs> Heck with it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm tired. There. There. Not so bad. I got a nice fence in here. A workable gate. <laughs> I still need some fencing down here. And then down there, and then from that big tree thingy, all the way down to the fence. I don't think that'll take too much longer. Digging each individual post for this has been taking quite a while. It'll be easier with a with a wire fencing. So, man, this is going great. So I got it from the fence over here. It's loose, ah well, and it's over here, and it stops here. Now I'm rushing this in <laughs> the best I can. And then, pretty much a straight shot, which I'm going to use this big old fence. And my chickens are going to take a compost bath. Nice. You're a weird bird. I kind of have to go around without a fence post, which makes it wobbly, but that's okay because if it's wobbly, nobody lands on it or tries to climb it or whatever. So, oh, yeah, this doesn't worry me at all. Uh -huh. Get over here. Let me over here. What do I have? Oh, 
carrying limbs around. Ah. Nice. Okay. My poor purple basil just got slapped and slammed, but it's still standing up, so I'm happy. There. Okay. And watch the fence follow. Ooh, how nice. Okay, what? No, if you're going to fall, fall that way. Here, up. Oh. Get up. Here I come. Trying not to kill everything. Okay. Well. Oh, I think I'm exhausted. I only have this one little thing to go. Take a deep breath and charge on. You ever have one of those times you just want to quit? Well, I had it. Now the fence goes from this thingy here. That little thingy there is bracing the fence back. And further down I have the portable fence post. I have two uh, spikes in it and it is holding up that whole fence. I want more of those. I think they're wonderful. And finally the end of the line back at the fence that's at the front of the garden toward the driveway and that is the last post. And it's actually holding it too. I'm so excited. Okay, everybody out. Come on, out, out, out. Don't chicken dance. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Out, 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 out. Out. Thank you. Get over there. It's in. And you know, I've chosen one of the hottest, muggiest days I could have done this on. When I did the fence that worked, or that didn't work, I should say, it was a beautiful day. Not so much today. It rained, then the sun comes out, and all that humidity is just straight up on me. I mean, I am sweating like mad. I got some cardboard still showing. but it looks like the chickens don't want to be on this side of the fence. I think it reminds them too much of being penned in. <laughs> Yay! But they'll figure it out. So I have to get probably some kind of cheap chicken wire, I'm hoping, and put that in. And I think that'll be it. So, let's take a tour. <sighs> Okay, so there's the huh, the one little bed, and then fencing, and a little gate, and more fencing. Now if you look, it goes down, and it walks off to the side. <laughs> I wanted to get around that stupid tree that I hate, but I didn't want to go outside of where I'd put the straw and stuff. I figured that was a better part of Valor. And then the other little gate, and then the fence. And then the five foot fence goes all the way back. And we're back at the beginning. Well, I also left the compost pile where the chickens can get to it. So I just throw junk over the fence or into the wheelbarrow and put it back over here. And they can do their thing and, and I can take good, wholesome, wonderful dirt back into my garden. Believe me, I know this has not been the best job in the world, but I got it done. First couple of days, I was just trying to build the pieces to put in and all that. I finished all that today and put the entire fence up because I got tired of waiting. So I have it done. I don't know what to think. Oh, I know what to think. It's time to stop for the day. I'm so sweaty and sticky and nasty. 
I think I deserve a nice shower. This has been Mel with One Woman and Two Acres. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day.